Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today I'm just going to be going over a quick team building guide for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. Now, as you see on my screen, uh, this is uh, essentially the standard of what we want to have on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team in order to maximize the entire team, to benefit the entire team. You see over here, I have on one rotation, you're going to have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the Kaioken Blue Goku. They link very well, they give each other a lot of ki, and they hit off two of the main links, which is Super Saiyan Fierce Battle. Now, if you look at this team, other than the God the Godku card, the Agility Super Saiyan God Goku card, everyone here has Fierce Battle. Um, you don't see another card over here because you can't have two of the same cards on here, I believe. Uh, but essentially, this is where your friend Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is going to go. It's going to link right up with the Super Vegeta. As you can see here, they have four links together. If I can to go through Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle and then Shock and Speed and Prepare for Battle. So they'll be getting Super Attacks off all the time. Plus, they both tank. So you're going to have three really good tanks. The Vegeta, after he launches the Super Attack tanks. And this Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue Goku, he doesn't necessarily tank, but he gets a defense buff after his Super Attack. So him attacking second is ideal because after he super attacks he gets a 10,000 buff on his defense. Now of course you guys are going to have a decent on rotation. Reason Rose is on here, immense damage, modifiers, passive skills, attack plus 100%, key plus 3 for extreme type, so he's giving himself th 3 key. He gets the HP attack and defense buff of 50%, 2 key for running a double Super Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta lead, if you're running a double Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta lead. He gets what, 2 key, so it's 5 key, and then the 50% the, the attack buff, or 100% attack buff technically from the double leads. Now, this is the ideal team that you would want to run. Uh, as I stated earlier, when you, if you watched my gameplay video, this is the other variant. Essentially, just this Gohan, who replaces the Super Saiyan God Vegeta, which is right here. The reason why he's more ideal is because he has Fierce Battle. This Gohan does not have Fierce Battle. And um, the, the, the Vegeta also has a defense buff on a Super Attack, while the Gohan doesn't. So those are the two that are the most ideal teams. Now, I want to recommend this team. Now... I did do some searching, I found a couple Reddit posts, a couple Game FAQ posts about this. Now Tora is one of the best linking buddies for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now why is that? He doesn't have, he only has two links, what are you talking about? You know, why would he be one of the best linking buddies? Well look at the two links that he has, Saiyan Pride and Saiyan Roar. Those are the only two links that this entire team doesn't hit off for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now granted, yeah, you could throw Super Saiyan 4 Goku on there to hit them off. You could throw the Super Saiyan 3 Goku on there to, to hit them off, which would be cool. Don't get me wrong. But Tora is a super or is a super type, is an agility super type. And while, yeah, while he technically doesn't have a good um, attack modifier, let's take a look over here. It's only an extreme damage modifier, but he does lower the enemy attacks. So that's not horrible. And he gives agility types, HP, and attack. Um, I'm sorry, that's his leader skill. Um, he does give his uh, teammates key plus three when HP is 80% or below. Now, granted, that kind of stinks is at 80% or below. But, I mean, look, look at the realistics here. You're not going to really need key on this team. Everyone um, does link extremely well here. Toro would always obviously want to be in your first place slot because Vegeta's going to want to be in your second place slot. And why is that? Because you... Tora lacks two of his other main attack links that you want to hit off. That is Super Saiyan and Prepare for, or Fierce Battle. Now, take a look at the rest of this team. Obviously, you're going to have the Super Vegito and another Super Saiyan 4 Vegito over here. They're going to stay linked together. You're going to want the Super, uh, the Super Vegito to hit first, so that way you get the attack buff from the Super. And then these three over here are all going to be on rotation. Now, all three of these guys have the Super Saiyan trait, and all three of them have Fierce Battle. So, Vegeta is going to be getting every single attack buff to him. And I believe all of them have prepared, yeah, prepared for battle, and yeah, prepared for battle and prepared for battle. So he's getting key plus two from these two guys, and when Kaioken Blue Goku is there, he's getting key plus four. Kaioken Blue Goku is just good to have on rotation because of all the key buffs. He does do a little bit of damage to the health, that's kind of negligible. But, you know, having him on rotation will help reduce the amount of health that gets used. But having him here, having Tora on this team, can help with overall damage output. Now, I don't want to say that I've done the math because I haven't done the math. Um, so I just want to say, this, in my opinion, can be a more ideal team than this. Because, yes, overall, you might be getting harder hitting units out of all of them. But, I mean, let's take a look. We're essentially replacing this Goku card, who does some decent damage. I think he does an upwards of 200 to 250,000 damage with this Tora. But this Tora isn't going to do... Again, I don't have this Tora in order to actually demonstrate it. Unfortunately, I thought I had all the Super Saiyan... I mean, all the great apes. I don't have all the great apes. But this Tora, when, 
all of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's links were hit off, he was doing about 1.4 million damage on average, or at least that's what his max stats got to uh, before he launched the super attack. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku and all of his links were like 1.6 million. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the other team that I, that I wanted to come over and show you. This is the one that I was running um, this past weekend. So I have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. They hit off six of the links, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, GT, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Saiyan Roar. So that is three of the four attack links that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta has. Now, I threw this Bardock in here. Now, why am I throwing this Bardock in here? This SR on a godly team? Well, that's because I have both Super Saiyan and Saiyan Prime. Now, granted, you don't need the Super Saiyan, but he gets Prepared for Battle and Super Saiyan, which links very well with his Vegeta. Um, and Saiyan Pride is an additional 15 percent attack buff. Now ideally, you're not going to want to run him on the team, I was just doing it to, to take a look at the damage output that you can get from the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And let me tell you, it was not that bad. I mean, when I had Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta paired with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I had that Bardock on the round, and I threw on an agility um, attack, uh, the, the announcer for the attack, and I threw on a Bulma for a 20% attack buff, this Vegeta was doing about a base of almost 2 million, if not a little bit over 2 million in certain occasions, depending on what the attack was like. So he is getting really good attack buffs. Now without those two items, he was getting, I believe it was anywhere between 1.4 to 1.5 million damage on the base before he launched the super attack. So when all of his bases are hit off, yes, he's not hitting as hard as a Super Saiyan 4 Goku can in his ideal situation, but he is hitting pretty damn decently, you know, you can't underrate him. I think a lot of people underrate the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta just because he doesn't do the 1.6 million like Goku does, but ideally that's because you don't have an ideal team. You know, personally, I wish I had this Tora, because I would be able to give you guys a much better demonstration of how much better damage he can do. And I would recommend using this lineup right here, keeping these two together, and keeping Vegeta right in the middle, because that way all the guys who are on rotation hit off the other two attack skills, and they all have key buffs for him, so it's not like you'll ever be lacking key for them. You don't really need to do a super attack with a Tora. I mean, you would want to ideally to lower the attack of the opponent, but he's not going to do enough attack lowering for it to make a difference. Now, if you are brand new to this game, um, I know you're not going to have all, all of a lot of these cards. So I just want to show you, here are four cards over here. Um, the Kaioken Blue Goku, the SR Bardock, and the GT Trunks. Now, by no means are any, either of these cards or any of these cards actually, like, I, like you're not going to always have any of these four cards, but this can help you out. They are the bare minimum of SR or higher that actually link with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I, like, a little bit better. Um, you can throw any Super Saiyan on there with him if you want to. I mean, I did the uh, key links of two or more that are ideal for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And this is what I came up with. Um, this Bardock I like because he hits three of his link skills off. And again, this is for bare minimums if you're just starting your account and you have this SR Bardock. He's a little bit more common. You can throw, he has Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, and Prayer, pre Prepared for Battle. So that's a 25 attack buff for your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and a two key. So that's not bad at all. Um, between these two, they have Super Saiyan, GT, and Prepared for Battle. So if you're having trouble getting key off, let's say you don't have a Doken Awaken, you, uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Doken Awaken, and you're taking an agility buff on top of it, you might want to throw this GT one on here, this GT Trunks on here, just because you can get the GT and the Prepared for Battle link, which is key plus four, so that way you get your super attacks off. Um, or you could throw the Kaioken Blue Goku on here. Though, ideally, in my opinion, you would probably want to keep this on another rotation just because he is also a hard hitter i personally i prefer having two hard hitters on opposite ends of each other so that way there, there's always someone doing good damage um depending on how the lineup comes it just makes more sense to me but yeah that's it guys i just want to go over all that with you this is what i believe to be the best team outcomes that you can do um this is the one that the entire community from what i've seen on a lot of a lot of reddit posts and game faq posts and a lot of other team building guides uh, this is the ideal team this is a backup team just because you're replacing that god that god of Vegeta with this Gohan. This one I recommend. I haven't taken it out for damage testing as compared to this team. I would actually look at now that we have timers, I would do that one if I ever pull this one. I swear I had all of them. I guess that's the only great ape I don't have. Um, and then this is the team I've just been playing around with just to see his damage output. But that's it, guys. Thank you for taking the time. I hope this helped you out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. What team are you running? I'll catch you guys down in the comments below.